Hey, this is Isara and Katerina with I Was Diagnosed. And um, so we want to share with you something that we've been working on for the last five years and kind of just had a major breakthrough in last week. And um, I just got off the phone with one of Katerina's physical therapists on our team, Jordan. Um, he kind of confirmed a lot of this. So basically, just to kind of set you up with this, um, when Katerina was diagnosed, we found this book by uh, this clinical physician, uh, Terry Walls, who put out a book called The Walls Protocol. You may have heard of it. If not, I suggest you check it out. It's a lot of interesting data in there. One of the pieces that we found compelling was her use of EMS. Well, she has MS herself. Yeah, right? she has multiple she sclerosis. diagnosed years ago. And um, so one of the things we found compelling was her use of EMS, which we didn't know about, and that stands for electrical muscular stimulation. They're basically pads that you put on your muscles and then a machine sends an electrical signal to them and it contracts the muscles. And so people use this for different contexts, um, notably sports and physical therapy are kind of the top two uses. So we were intrigued and she has a medical case study online that's really well documented at the physician level um, where she went through and they really captured a lot of good data. And so we take that study, I print it out and bring it to her physical therapist when we go in, we're like, hey, we want to do this stuff. Um, and this has been crazy. It's been driving me nuts because for about five years, well, it's probably longer now since yeah. you, you were diagnosed, I've been trying to work, find a physical, physical therapist to work with us and use this device in the context of like strength building. And, oh man, we've gone to so many physical therapists at this point and had so many conversations and they literally, they don't, they don't get it. And it's not to badmouth physical therapists at all, but essentially what they're doing is they're keeping her out of strength training, like more athletic strength training, and they're keeping her in very, very minimal activity kind of stuff. And yeah, so, more like alignment yeah. and movement isolation posture, and posture, yeah. which is really important. But my goal is being able to jog again, to be able yeah. to go for a run. And within that, I have to, you know, train my muscles, my legs, and, you know, yeah. do a lot of, uh, more than, yeah, so, a lot of activity. So your leg is getting weaker and weaker on her right side. And we're like, dudes, can you have her do strength training stuff with the EMS like this case study? And they're always just like, well, we don't know. We don't, we don't understand. So anyway, finally, I just cracked it. And I called up my buddy, Jordan, uh, who used to do physical therapy for uh, Katerina. And I was like, dude, what is the deal? Yeah. And we figured out on the phone that physical therapists are not the people to go to for this. Who you want to find are people who are focusing on strength training. They're using EMS for strength training. It's a different kind of thing. Now, I don't I don't know where you're at watching this and if you're, you know, going to go out and do a bunch of strength tra training, you might injure yourself, so I'm not recommending you do anything that's going to injure yourself, but Katerina is able-bodied enough and so we just connected. So we we researched a company called Compex and we'll be talking about this more cuz we're really excited. They do products, EMS products just for athletes. And they're starting to get into the medical stuff, but it's really just about uh, performance at this point. So we found like the top trainer, his name's Rick Stasi. We just got off the phone with him. Really amazing, sweet guy. He's trained a ton of gold medal winning Olympic athletes. It's kind of crazy that we even get to hang out with this guy. But we're going to be hanging out with him on Tuesday and shooting some video from that. And he's going to be putting these on Katarina and putting her through exercises. And this guy does no weights whatsoever. He just focuses on body movement. Basically, he takes the stem plus the functionality. And that's what, where it, it's all at. But so the big breakthrough for me was in realizing that the people to go to are not physical therapists. Yeah, and I think stereotypically, I think about physical oh, yeah. therapist as someone who is eventually going to push me to yeah. my limits, you know, and like constantly push me to my limits. I think of them as a, a stress trainer, yeah. but they are not. Right, because we, we both realized we had this yeah. picture of like somebody uh, who had like a stroke. Exactly. And they're struggling to pick up a ball and the person's like, okay, keep doing it, keep doing it. And they're like, it feels like they're really drilling them with strength training stuff. But if you're actually in okay shape, like Katerina, they don't really know what to do with her. And so we're, she's focusing on like postural things, which are great. But in the meantime, she has to be focusing on core strength training. So we're going to be sharing more of this information because I've been looking for it for years. It's just not out there. Yeah. But um, we're going to start creating some of it and share with you so you can learn some of this stuff as well. Yeah. So we just want to share that. We think it's really cool. So anyway, uh, you can hit subscribe um, if you want to know more about this. And our cat is now scratching the post. And... There he is. 
Hi. Yeah, listen, I don't know if you can see him. So uh, we're just going to call that good for now, and uh, we will see you later. Bye.